ऐसे समय में जब सबसे बड़ा सवाल हो आज की अर्थव्यवस्था कैसे आगे बढ़ेगी सभी की नजरे और हम पर रजना पावर ताकि तमाम आशंकाओं के बीच आज मैं आप सभी के सामने दुनिया के लिए Today we will study general equilibrium theory of international trade according to Ohlin. Ohlin. There is general equilibrium theory of international trade. Ohlin. Economist. There is no difference between local trade and international trade. Therefore, Pranam, sir. local trade be used to demand and supply. Yes, sir. To determine price. Sir, your net connection, I think, oh, is oh, getting interrupted. Oscar? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are we safe? Yes, sir. Police. How are you? Sir, I'm sorry. But your network is fluctuating. I'm sorry. 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 जी सर आवाज आ रही है अभी हाँ अभी आ रही है सर हाँ टुडे वी आर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इंटरनल इक्विलिब्रियम थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इंटरनल इक्विलिब्रियम थ्योरी ऑफ
general equilibrium theory of international trade.
पुरस्कार रीड आउट कर ओहलिन थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड आल्सो कॉल्ड जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड और देयर इज नो डिफरेंस देयर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड लोकल ट्रेड रीजनल ट्रेड एंड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज अ स्पेशल केस ऑफ इंटर रीजनल एंड इंटर लोकल ट्रेड डिमांड एंड सप्लाई थ्योरी ऑफ वैल्यू और प्राइस विल बी यूज्ड इन बोथ डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड एंड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड अब इसे तुम बोलो यस सर ओलिन थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड आल्सो नोन एज जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड देयर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन डोमेस्टिक ट्रेड लोकल ट्रेड रीजनल ट्रेड and international trade international trade is a special case of inter regional and inter local trade uh, here demand and supply theory of value or price will be used in both domestic trade and international trade उसका उट सर जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम थ्योरी ऑफ प्राइस और वैल्यू नाउ इट हैज टू कंपोनेंट्स डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी एंड सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी इज डिटरमाइंड बाय डिजायर फॉर कमोडिटी एंड इनकम इनकम लेवल ऑन द अदर हैंड सप्लाई ऑफ कमोडिटी हैज टू कंपोनेंट्स फैक्टर प्राइस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ प्रोडक्शन फैक्टर प्राइस कैन हैज अगेन टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स डिमांड फॉर फैक्टर एंड सप्लाई ऑफ फैक्टर demand for factor it is a demand for commodity 
एंड सप्लाई ऑफ फैक्टर इज फैक्टर प्राइस सर ये थोड़ा ये दो पॉइंट दिक्कत हो रही है डिमांड फॉर फैक्टर हाउस डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी सर ये डिमांड फॉर फैक्टर हाउ इट लीड्स टू डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी पेंटर का ब्रश का रंग का सब डिमांड तो डिमांड फॉर फैक्टर जो है डिपेंड्स अपॉन डिमांड फॉर कॉमोडिटी वेर एज डिमांड फॉर कॉमोडिटी इज इंडिपेंडेंट आइटम इट इज कॉल्ड इंटरडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल demand for commodity and demand for factor are interdependent factors Look here. This is demand for commodity. <coughs> Interdependent variables. This is. left hand side and this is right hand side so right hand side factor is related to left hand side factor this is general equilibrium that everything is not independent rather it is interdependent look here what is income that is factor price what is income of the consumer that is salary of the officer and wages of the workers and labor all all factors reward is income all factor rewards are income therefore this variable is also interrelated factor price means factor reward factor reward Here, I, yes, sir. This table is general equilibrium because left hand is influencing right hand side, and left hand is not independent. It is just another name of factor price and factor reward. Every one is factor of production. Every one is labor, worker, officer, cap, cap, capitalist. Entrepreneur, organizer, and all are rewarded as income, and that income is a part to determine demand for commodity. Here again, there is interrelationship, interdependent. This is also. interdependent 
context look here supply of the factor depends upon factor price supply of the factor depends upon factor price factor price supply of labor depends upon wage rate supply of labor depends upon wage rate supply of capital depends upon interest rate so this is this is factor in price this is factor price this is factor price which are affecting it this is called interdependent interrelated inter related interdependent 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 interrelated 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 factor Table A is different, left side and right side. But general equilibrium analysis says that all are interwoven, all are interrelated, all are interdependent, and therefore this is found in local trade. This is found in domestic trade. This is found in regional trade. and this is found in international trade what is the difference the difference is a place a smaller place market larger place market largest place market a smaller space market is village market larger market is a state market largest market is national market and Two nations market is largest one. So, village heart, state market, regional market, national market, all are same. Only the difference is of place. A smaller place market and larger place market and. A still larger market that is international trade market. So as there is no difference between interlocal market and interregional market, so there is no difference between interregional market and national market. Only size will change. Size will change. The space will change. and that is known as a spatial difference a spatial difference a spatial difference means difference of a space there is difference of Place size, and place size, Real difference does not exist. In the local market, in 
in a small size market. Inter regional market. There is still a bigger size market. Likewise. National market is of bigger size and it may be same as. Inter local or inter regional. So, this is said by your head. That there is no difference between international market. and inter local or inter regional market. So there is No need for no need for the person. There is there is difference of place size and space size and real difference does not exist. Interlocal market is a small size market. Interregional market is still a big size market. Likewise, international market is of biggest size and it is same as interlocal or interregional market. 
So this is said by Ohlin that there is no difference between international market and interlocal or interregional market. So there is no need for separate theory of international trade. Didier, have you said? Yes, sir. Local, market, we have OP, And
पर्वत अभिषेक यस सर इन लोकल और रीजनल और नेशनल मार्केट the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity is determined through uh, demand for the commodity and supply of the commodity in the graph uh, there is uh, uh, e is the equilibrium point where op is the equilibrium price and om is the equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied and uh, demand equal to supply gives rise to equilibrium uh, price and d minus is equal to zero is the equilibrium condition sir to par hota Sir, the graph shows equilibrium conditions prevail in local or regional or national market. Now, on the x-axis we measure demand and supply. On the y-axis we measure price. Demand uh, equilibrium condition is fulfilled by intersection of demand and supply curves, where this equilibrium point is is point E, where equilibrium price is OP and equilibrium quantity is OM. In local or regional or national market, we have OP equilibrium price and OM demand and supply of commodity. D is demand is equal to supply that is equilibrium price is determined, and D minus S is equal to zero that is equilibrium condition. international trade two country portugal supply of wine and demand for cloth And for cloth, equal to supply of one. And supply of cloth. This is called offer curve. This is the reciprocal demand.
ग्लोबल डिमांड का सर पढ़ो तो जरा सर इन केस ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड पोर्तगाल सप्लाईज वाइन एंड डिमांड्स फॉर डिमांड्स क्लॉथ on the other hand england supplies cloth and demands wine the first uh, the first uh, curve first uh, uh, diagram shows the offer curve or also called reciprocal demand curve for portugal this means this means at any given quantity of cloth from england how much quantity of wine portugal is willing to supply similarly this is the offer curve of, offer curve of england this shows for how much at any given quantity of wine from portugal how much quantity of cloth england is willing to supply okay clear hai sir fir se explain kar dijiye in domestic market be huge demand and supply separate Yes, sir. But international market, you when we talk about international market, we supply cloth and demand wine. Reciprocal. We supply cloth, demand wine. We supply wine, demand cloth. So equilibrium will be obtained where there is intersection between two offer curve. that point will give us equilibrium in demand equal to supply wine demand equal to supply cloth so these are the two offer curve separately now we will draw in one diagram and we will get the equilibrium sir sorry sorry question tha sir ये जो पुर्तगाल का ऑफर कर्व है या फिर इंग्लैंड का ऑफर कर्व है सर ये इस तरह का शेप होने का कोई मतलब रीजन है मतलब व्हाई ऑफर कर्व ऑफ पुर्तगाल इज कॉन्केव टुवर्ड्स एक्स एक्सिस एंड व्हाई ऑफर कर्व ऑफ इंग्लैंड वन वन इज एक्सपोर्ट फॉर अनदर वन इज एक्सपोर्ट एंड अदर इज इंपोर्ट हां एंड रिवर्स केस विल बी देयर हां सो व्हेन यू ड्रॉ अ डायग्राम Yes, sir. You will see in further classes that one commodity replaced by the another commodity. The curve will will not be a straight line. It will be concave and convex to opposite considerations. One is supplying x y. and one is demanding wine mm -hmm. so this is opposite consider so when it is plotted then we will have two curve one curve is like this and this curve is like this okay sir because one country is exporting another country is importing same and therefore it will be opposite convex to the origin and concave to the origin in this case convex towards x axis and this is convex towards y axis
there is intersection between two of our curve at certain price line. This gives equilibrium point E, where there is intersection between two of our curve of two nations. <coughs> <clears throat> taking into consideration two commodities and at point E there will be automatic demand for wine equal to supply of wine and demand for cloth will be equal to supply of cloth. Two sets of equilibrium is obtained at point E by intersection between two of our curves. It is a unique case where a curve represents reciprocal demand that you give me wine, I will give you cloth. You give me cloth, I will give you wine. So this is not absolute demand curve. This is reciprocal demand curve. Demand curve represents at a time two commodities. One is to be given and one is to be taken and two opposite considerations, two nations. So when there is intersection between two offer curve at certain price line, there may be several price line, but we have to. Our price line will be P at which there is intersection. Sir, what does this price line indicate? Exactly. Um, OP. How, how the price line is determined? Why? Price line is representing both cases. Price of wine and price of cloth. At which trade will occur? Yeah. So this price line determines the price at which trade will occur. This is exactly the price. This will be same in both nations. There are several price lines. Hmm. We draw several price lines. But there will be one and only one price line where there is intersection. Okay. We can draw 10 price lines in, in between P. Four, four upward P and four downward P. But that is not the intersection between offer curve. <coughs> offer curve intersection is the necessary condition. Equilibrium equilibrium is obtained. When there is intersection between two offer curves at certain price line, certain price line. in the diagram. At point E, You imagine series of price lines. And in the series of price lines, there will be intersection only at one price line. We have not given so many price lines yet. We have shown you the final result. 
He will show you just now. Without, without the written part. Sir, equilibrium is obtained where there is intersection between two of her cups at certain price line OP in the diagram at point E. Is it clear? Is it clear? I will say. Uh, sir, uh, price line are there. Sir, that that is clear. Means so uh, means uh, the intersection point of two offer curves with the price line gives uh, gives the uh, uh, tradable quantity between the two two countries. But uh, my question is uh, with the offer curves. Uh, why offer curve is uh, uh, saved like that? And second thing is uh, how the price line concept has come in the dimension of wine and cloth graph. You will understand it after one or two classes related to offer curve. Okay, sir. Where we will where we will teach you how to draw offer curve. Okay, sir. You take it granted yes, sir. that India and Pakistan will be always in opposite direction. <laughs> yes, sir. Think in that way. Okay, sir. Two nations of our curve will be in opposite direction. One will be convex, another will be. Yes, sir. The price line is important at which there is inter. Section. Yes, sir. In two nations, conditions are different and therefore opposite configuration. Both will try to reach at equilibrium. Yes, sir. 